بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So inshallah carrying on with our uh, practice of tarqib in Arab and this to follow up on the concept then yesterday we have here the surah surah Taha verse 130 towards the end of surah Taha. So sabbih bihamdi rabbika qabla tulu'i shams wa qabla ghurubiha wa min ana'i al-layl. How do you go about doing tarqib? Bismillah you start. Sabbih فعل وكان فعل معظم مضارع أمر هم سبح فعل فعل أمر and is there is there a zamir can there a zamir be seen at the end of the verb no so the zamir is going to be it's going to be فعل and فاعل got a bit of an issue here it's a فعل and then we say here فاعل it can't be seen so this is zamir مستتر is أنت correct I'm going to leave this out for now and do at the end. Now, what happens here? So, praise or glorify Allah. We'll do that later on. Qabla tulu'i shams wa qabla ghurubiha wa min ana illay. So, before the rising of the sun, before the setting of the sun, an ana means hours, a time. So, and from the hours of the night. This is what we explained yesterday. That even though this is jar majroor, what, what kind of meaning does it give? Maf'ul fi meaning. So really all of this has a maf'ul fi meaning in our tarqib. So even though it's jar majroor, it's what? It's maf'ul fi. Then what we do here? We say qabla tulu is shams. Is ma'atufun. Alay. Correct? Qabla qurubiha is ma'atuf. And even min ana illayn is atf. But what do you say? You say? Atf ala mahalli qabla Because this is jar majroo So jar majroo can become muta'alik on a noun But because this is mahallan Mansub Because it's in the meaning of maf'ul fi That's why it becomes atf on the previous one Are you following? And then this is either mudaf This is mudaf, mudaf ilay, mudaf ilay, mudaf, mudaf ilay Jar majroo, mudaf, mudaf ilay Correct? So this is the main concept here The min ana illay Even though it's jar majroo It still has which meaning? It still has the meaning of what? Maful fi. Correct? Everybody understand that one? <coughs> now moving on. Bihamdi Rabbik. Now we have to understand this text. How is the word sabbaha used in the Quran? Start reading. Bismillah. Start on any surah. Sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard. Okay? So you have sabbaha. Lillah. Yes? Yeah. Uh. Is there any way where Allah is a maf'ul without the lamb? Sabbaha uh, lillah. Everything comes with lamb in the Quran usually. So this lamb is like the way, is, this, this is lamb, but this is really the maf'ul. Again, maf'ulun. Nabzu jalala is mansubun at ta'azim. Meaning it's maf'ulun bihi. So you praise Allah. You, so sabbaha literally means to glorify. So really, so, literally, if you go technically to the language, the word sabaha means to go far. Which is sabaha fil ard. Or sabaha fil ard. What does that mean? He went really far away. If you make it buta'addi, it means what? To make far. So if you make Allah far, not from somewhere, but what? Not physically, but metaphorically or abstract. You make it far from what? All faults and defects. You get it? So sabaha, it means to be far or to go far. So when you say sabbaha, so sabbaha lillah, meaning you are, I'm, I'm making Allah far from all defects. Okay? So who's the maf'ool of sabbaha? Love jalala. You praise Allah, you glorify Allah, you, you say Allah is pure of all defects. Now, bihamdi rabbik. Can you make it maf'ool bihi? Can jar majru become maf'ool bihi? Because you don't praise the hamd of Allah, do you? You don't, you don't glorify, or you don't say, you want to say, this one makes sense, that the praise of Allah is free from all faults. You say, Allah is free from all faults. You can say, I, I claim or I proclaim that Allah is free from all faults. Because I proclaim that the hamd of Allah is free from all faults, that wouldn't make sense. Do you understand? Correct? Now, what would the better translation here? What's the, what's the third? If, you, if you look in the, I think some mention, people mentioned as well, they looked in the Arab al-Quran. And the Arab al-Quran says, Hal. 
What does that mean? What does that mean? It means, <clears throat> if I say, for example, if I say, mashallah, you're not an idiot. What does that mean? It, it, it makes sense, but it's like, thanks for that, you know. I'm not an idiot, you know. If you say, oh, you know what? You're not ugly. So what? Uh, yeah, I get it. So if I say, uh, uh, you don't talk nonsense. I am, I am, I'm doing, I'm doing the speed of you, anyway. I'm, I'm claiming you to be free from all faults. But at the same time, that's not enough alone. You want to, you want to say, because, so, you want to say, that praise Allah at the same time, you want to say, sabih of Allah, meaning do tasbih of Allah, meaning what? Proclaim Allah to be pure from all faults. But at the same time, at the same time, pause it, please. Yeah, so we sing here, Sabbih bihamdi rabbik. So Sabbah means to glorify, and not to glorify. Sabbih means, we say glorify, but literally means to what? To make, to declare Allah free from all faults. Okay? Now, when you declare Allah free from all faults, you don't want to do it, because that doesn't really have any kind of praise. You want to do it at the same time. So we say, I declare Allah free of all faults, and bihamdi rabbika, whilst, whilst, with, along with the praise, his praise. So you want to do both at the same time. What do you want to do? Make Allah free from all faults. At the same time, what? Praise, praise him. So that's why he says, Sabbihamdi bihamdi Rabbik is the hal of the zamir in, inside of in Anta. Okay, Sabbih is Anta, that's the Zulhal. And Bihamdi Rabbik, you know, Jar Majuba Eba, become the hal, become the hal or become muta'alik to a hal. So both ways, you can get the hal directly or muta'alik to a hal mahzuf of sabbih. Do you understand? So that's why, for example, uh, have you got your, are you, no, you're not the group. <coughs> so for example, you have, for example, um, uh, so some, some people translate it as what? Uh, glorify your Lord or whatever. But really, it's to be what? Uh, I think the Sahih, let me, let me check one minute. I think the Sahih National had the best translation here. So we are now Surah 20, verse 19. So we go here, Islam American. So Surah 20. Surah 20 and verse. No, no, verse 19, verse. 130. We go to verse 130. Now you, see, you see different translations. Now that's why it's good having a, a variety of translations in front of you. Because everybody, sometimes people are more focused on making sure the English audience understand. Some translators want to make sure they get everything in. So if you look at it here, uh, okay. If you look at it here, where's Sahih International? Uh, Dr. Mohsin. So for example here, if you look at Dr. Imagine with that. So here's, and hallow the praise of thy Lord. He, he hasn't really said to, he just said, praise the Lord. Okay. And even here, he just said here, and proclaim the purity and praise of your Lord. So he's then, and so he's he so he said proclaim the purity is sabbih bihamdi rabbik that's and so he's kept both meanings in, in, in mind but he hasn't worried about the hal he just made it atf do you understand why the translations come across and uh, I can't find it. so here this one here this one I think is the best one so so exalt Allah with praise of your Lord this gets the hal meaning so with so exalt Allah, meaning say that He's free from all faults with the prefix praise. Do you understand? So that's why that's why that's why we have the turkey here. So really, what's happening here? Is, uh, the bihamdi, the bihamdi rabbik is the heart. So I so praise Him along with whilst you are praising Him. Do you understand? That's why it's not the mutallik. And it can't, it can't be Jaa Madru Muta'allik Because if you make it Muta'allik, fine But then is it the Maf'ul Fi? Is it the Maf'ul Fi meaning? No Maf'ul Bihi meaning? No Maf'ul Lahu meaning? No Maf'ul Mutlaq meaning? Uh, some people have argued that But it wouldn't be because That usually comes in Ka So it wouldn't be like that here You following? Make sense? G. This is so, so This is somebody done this yesterday So I guess more, I guess more, more or less we understand it uh, Here it's hard for atf and ma'atuf, yes. You don't need to mention that because there's no ma'atuf alay before it. But it's nothing wrong with that. Then you have fail, fa'il, correct. 
mutaallik we now say what is what hal maf'ul fi is correct and then bijar majrur mudaf mudaf ilayh correct qabla there's also mudaf here it's mudaf here as well mudaf and then mudaf ilayh that's done and then here you have yeah now this person did decided to make uh qabla ghurubiha wa min ana ilayl one ma'tuf you can make it two of them so you have ma'tuf alayh harfat ma'tuf and ma'tuf that's better option okay so you don't have to make it a separate layer so it's ma'tuf alayh here qabla tulu shams qabla ghurubiha I mean, and I so three mat, three, and then mudaf, mudaf again. You have to make this mudaf as well. Correct? And then mutaallik bisabbih. Now see again, it becomes a bit difficult in, you see, it won't mutaallik bisabbih because it's part of the maf'ul fi. Because it, 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 even if you remember, maf'ul fi, you also read in the Arab, say maf'ul fi, this is mutaallik bisabbih. So I don't, think, I don't know if I mentioned to you or not. The, the, even, the, even the zuruf, you make it maf, uh, even the zuruf, the maf'ulun fi, what do you do? You make it muta'allik to the fair. Because muta'allik means link, really. So because you need to know who is maf'ul fi of what. Are you following? So you don't need to make this muta'allik a maf'ul This whole thing is the whole maf'ul fi. Even maf'ul fi is muta'allik to the verb. <laughs> Even the maf'ul bi is muta'allik to the verb. But you don't need to mention that because automatically it's to the verb, nothing else. So that's why you have to mention it here, maf'ulun fi. Okay? And you have jar, majroor, and mudaf mudaf Okay, yes, you follow? Uh, and then the Arab will be quite, Arab will be quite, Arab will be quite easy, uh, as normal. Only here, you say what? Jar majroor mutaallik. You say jar majroor, fi mahalin nasb hal, or jar majroor mutaallik on behal mahzuf here in Arab. I mean, ana in layl, you say jar majroor, fi mahalin nasb, ma'atufun ala qabla. Correct? That's an, and apart from that, other, other Arabs are something you're familiar with.